Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. I guess I should go find Paul. Good morning. Yeah. Hey, you work for Monarch, don't you? I've seen your face on the news. Guilty as charged. An anti-Monarch protest doesn't exactly seem like you're seen. I like to keep a close eye on the opposition. Uh-huh. A little dressy for 4 a.m., don't you think? It's a very special occasion. I'm guessing you're not referring to the protest. Let's call it a private function. You'll have to excuse me, I have work to attend to. I doubt he's out here. I better head into the campus. Where'd that guy go? Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Vaguely ominous. Some protest. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Right in the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. The protesters are saying that Buildings are part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of Riverport. Personally, I'm a 
the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building will be big and shiny, but look, well, come on, who gives a shit? I love that old library, even if it is kind of falling apart. I like things with character. The Monarch, hell, they've got all the character of a brand new smartphone. Sure, call me a hipster, whatever. I just think you don't have to be a smug douchebag with organic sneakers and an ironic NASCAR cap to prefer a nice corner restaurant with personality to yet another Olive Garden, you know? Still, much as it pains me to say this, I think this is a done deal. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow no matter what we say. Might as well pack it up and go home and get ready for the next fight. Cause you know, they aren't done with our town yet, right? Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Every story finds its writer. have two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. 
He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been shitting enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Not the happiest guy, are you? I'm guessing you don't get invited to many dinner parties. <laughs> I said we'll walk away. All right. Good talk. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh... Why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. 
But there is one element which denies us true progress, time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Welcome to Project Promenade. must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. Jack, come on. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. 
I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. This is a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. It's okay, stay calm, Jack. Stay calm, there's, there's two of you, you just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible, I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen, before they happen, cure diseases before, diseases before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future.
What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, 
proximity to the poles. It, it must have altered your relation to the crime. Well, what I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah! That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the well, server. Over. More than height. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make him listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes. A gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh. You. Hold up. Here on this side. Okay. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab. He could have gone back and tried to take the service This elevator. doesn't make any sense. How? Why Order are you even here? That's your support. biggest concern right now? That comes on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get down! Oh god! Target's armed! Opening fire! Get down! Get out unnoticed! Are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple of tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do that. Take him down! You got to work, man. Take him down! You got to circle around! Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. 
The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture, I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. You knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. Lot. Oh God, that's it's okay. Okay, Will, calm down. Okay, I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here, you'll need the keys. Jack, be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? 
My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce. <laughs> Supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. Who do you think you are? Go, go, go! Seven different fucking options. You had to pick this. Alright, where's your car, Will? could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left it. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch. 